All right, before our discussion of the different types of faults, um, I think it's important that I try to explain the different types of stresses, stress that um, the earth, the surface of the earth um, is affected by. The first one is tension. And tension is like pulling two ends of a rope. And you get a force pulling in one direction and a force pulling in the opposite direction, just like, you know, kind of st like stretching a rubber band. The second one is compression. Compression. And that would be just the opposite, where the forces are pushing inward. And then the third one is shearing, where you get a force kind of twisting or kind of driving past one another. And so for our first fault, which would be our normal fault, normal, uh, we just kind of first have to kind of draw a basic fault line. All right, there's the surface of the earth, and then here's our fault line, this is our crack, and this is like the angle of it. So you have one block of earth here, here's our fault, all right, here's our fault, and here's the other block. Now, um, the portion underneath the fault line, if you think of the fault line as like a slide, right? you think of it as a slide as a person kind of you know, sliding down the slide, we going this way, right? sliding down the slide. Underneath the slide is called the foot wall. And above the slide is the hanging, hanging wall. Well. And so if you, you can imagine what the stress would be, um, in a normal fault, the stress would be tension. And so we get um, a pulling of this way of, and this way of tension where the forces are pulling out. So if you m imagine this hanging wall and uh, the force of the stress is going in an outward direction, you can imagine that this hanging wall would then fall down that slide. All right, and you know, let me switch to an animation here again that can kind of help illustrate that. So if we look at here, this, this animation here, you see that here's the normal fault, and this is sliding down the slide, and the foot wall is going to do the opposite, and it's climbing up the bottom of the slide. And so we have the foot wall, and we have the hanging wall. Let me rewind it here. And so here we have tension pulling it apart, and each side is kind of following along the lines of that fault plane. Alright, All right, so back to my drawing. Okay, so that's our normal fault. Um, scrolling down. So here, let's go and do the reverse faults. This is number two, the reverse. And again, here's our surface, here's our fault line, and again, here's our hanging wall. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. This is the foot wall because it's underneath the slide. This is hanging. And the difference here is that the stress is compression. So if it's compression, you can kind of imagine that this hanging wall is getting pushed, 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 pushed in this direction. And because of the angle of the fault line, it's going to be driven up. Right, and the force of that is going to do the opposite to this foot wall, this side, and it's going to be driven downward. All right, so let's go back to the animation. And we look over here, here's our compression. And so, um, let's play it. And you can see it f just follows right along the lines of that fault plane. Okay, rewind it. And so it pushes into each other, pushes in, pushes in, and it has no place else to go but follow the angle of the fault.
fault line. All right, kind of like a ramp. All right, you push a box up the ramp, and it goes in that direction. All right, and then finally, the last one, and again, this one is with compression. Compression. And then the last one, let me change colors, number three, all right, is, let's see, there it is, strike slip. I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> um, strike slip fault. All right, and this one's a little bit harder to draw. So we have a block here. And let's see a block here. And the animation is going to be so much better than my drawing. And we're going to have a shearing where you have one force going this way. Maybe I should change colors. And let's have one force going this way. And one force going that way. Okay. And this is called shearing. And you can imagine what that animation is going to look like. Let's go back. And over here, we have the shearing motion of a strike slip. Okay, so it's not getting pushed or pulled away from the fault plane. It's going parallel to it. Okay, if you notice, um, there's something also called a thrust fault. It's very much like the reverse fault here. I right, just at a different angle, um, but that's that's not something we're really going to be too concerned about. All right, so here, once again, we have the normal fault, normal fault, and that is with tension. Okay, and then we have the reverse fault, reverse fault, and that is with compression, and then finally one whose name I forgot for a moment <laughs> not doing real good here the one I forgot for a moment is the strike slip fault and that is with shearing All right. so if I, if I was a perfectionist then I would um, have done this one over but um, I'm just gonna let this one slide hope hope it helped you um, hopefully the next one you watch is gonna be better thanks